When I was at school, I had no idea what I wanted to do when I grew up. I want to do computer science. There was no one telling me what sort of opportunities were out there. And I like creating things and working out problems. Science, technology, engineering and maths really underpins everything we do on a daily basis. I want to build websites. I want to help people with disease. Science, technology, engineering and maths is vital to the future economy of the UK. STEM. STEM is a foundation building block for so many careers. Whether you're a doctor, a lawyer, an accountant. There's energy, there's transport, there's mechanical stuff. Where are the next generation of inventors, IP examiners, patent attorneys, patent judges coming from? I want to be a businessman. I want to invent lots of things. It used to be a problem engaging students in science. So what we've done is trying to engage more and more ambassadors to just re-inspire students to be creative and curious. And that's really helped them back into doing their GCSEs as well. The STEM ambassadors who can talk about their everyday life once they've left school or are further on in their developed careers um, can really focus students. They're effectively an interface between the student and the opportunities which are out there. We have to influence and get into working with children at all ages. The reason for this is as children get older, there are various points in their life where they have the choice to either stay in STEM or go elsewhere. We have to recognise those points and intervene to help them make the right decision. The STEM Ambassadors Programme is something that UK government and industry and education have come together to try and encourage greater participation of industry with schools and with education. STEM. So I've been a STEM ambassador for about three years. We go to as many science festivals as possible and we go to things where I do talks at schools and secondary schools, I go to colleges. I've done lectures to 13, 14 year olds about what my job is, what potential careers are and that sort of thing. It gives you the opportunity to tell them what your day-to-day -day life is like. It is a big problem with people thinking they're not good enough to, to be in this field and almost all the time it's completely untrue. There's also a stereotype about girls don't do science-based subjects but that is a lie. I am a girl. Yeah, there is a perception of the science geek or whatever. There are the high flyers in that. But we also need the mechanics, the engineers, you know, the guys on the shop floor, production guys. When it comes to what to do with science, you don't have to be a genius. Everything is not rocket science, basically. There's always a place for everybody. The main role of a STEM ambassador is to basically inspire the next generation. Because of the STEM Ambassadors Programme, we've managed to make some great business links. It's a great way to just get involved with other people who are around the area. The STEM ambassadors range in age from apprentices who've recently been in the school environment themselves right through to very experienced engineers and they all bring something different. STEM. So I became a STEM ambassador to sort of give back to the kids and hopefully provide them with some sort of idea of what sort of opportunities are out there and some of the really interesting stuff that's available to them to give them just a taste of what they could do in their future lives. One of the ambassadors who came in last year was so inspirational. The number of children that came up to me afterwards saying, wow, this is so cool. I didn't realize that I could do this. And just being really inspired by people who they wouldn't normally meet.